as the organizer of the show, this is a huge day for us. You know, the fact that we have 60,000 amazing global citizens joining with Stevie Wonder, Kings of Leon, Alicia Keys, John Mayer, Elvis Costello, the amazing Janelle Monet, and so many others who've been part of this incredible Global Citizen Festival. It's truly an honor. And so we just want to, you know, have a huge shout out to all those people who want to become global citizens and invite them to be part of the movement to end extreme poverty within our lifetime. The president of the World Bank just said a few, few hours ago that we could actually end extreme poverty by 2030. You know, that's not that far away. That's like 15 years away or 16, 17 years away. You know, that's incredible, incredible possibility. And that's what Global Citizen is all about. A concert alone is not going to end extreme poverty. It requires a worldwide 365 day movement. And that's what tonight's all about. Technology plays a crucial role in the end of extreme poverty because let me give you one example. A cell phone in sub-Saharan Africa. Now over 30, 40, 50% of people in sub-Saharan Africa have access to a cell phone. And what that means is that they can diagnose diseases like malaria, HIV AIDS in an instant through digital technology. Whereas before, you know, the pathway to economic and social development was through the industrial revolution. The technological revolution enables developing communities to really skip that development process. And so really we find that technology in the hands of the world's poor is an immensely powerful tool for education, for healthcare, for women's equality. These are the core values of Global Citizen and what we're fighting for. The capacity to work with MLB has been a real honor for us at Global Citizen, and we see this as a long-term partnership. And so I just want to encourage everyone to go to globalcitizen.org and take action tonight.